Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan K. Let's discuss the osteology of clavicle bone. So you can see the clavicle is an S-shaped long bone which is having three parts. Usually when we describe the long bones it will be having an upper end, shaft and lower end. But in case of clavicle it is placed horizontally in the body making it having two ends, the sternal end and the acromial end which is also known as the medial end and the lateral end connected by a shaft and it is horizontally placed. So when we consider the lateral end, that is a flattened end of the clavicle, you can see it is having two borders, the anterior border, the concave one, the posterior border, separating the flattened lateral end or the acromial end into a superior surface and an inferior surface. On the other side, the sternal end is almost quadrangular in shape. You can see it is having five surfaces, the superior surface, anterior surface, inferior surface, posterior surface and the medial surface which articulates with the sternum making it the sternal surface of the medial surface. And when we consider the shaft of clavicle it can be divided into a medial two-third and a lateral one-third. The medial two-third is quadrangular in cross section you can see it is almost rounded with ill-defined margins but it is also quadrangular in shape making four surfaces, superior, anterior, inferior and posterior surfaces. While on the lateral one-third you can see that it is having two borders, the anterior border, posterior border. Since it is flattened, it have two surfaces, superior and inferior surface. Now let's consider the other external features present on the clavicle. Starting from the lateral end, on the lateral aspect of the lateral end or the acromial end, you can see an oval facet which is also known as the acromion facet of the clavicle. While on the inferior surface of the lateral end, you will get to find a bony prominence, a tip like prominence over here that is nothing but the conoid tubercle and right next to it you can see an oblique ridge that is called as the trapezoid line. So these two are the points at which a particular ligament gets attached that is nothing but the ligament called as the acromio, coraco acromial ligament. It has got two parts the conoid part and the trapezoid part which will be getting inserted on these points. While in the middle part of the shaft on the inferior surface peculiarly you can see the shadow here there is a reflection that you can see here which marks a groove which is present on the inferior surface of the middle of the shaft. This is called as the subclavian groove which is the origin point of the subclavius muscle. Then on the medial end or the sternal end when we consider the inferior surface you can see a very rough impression here. This marks the attachment point of the costoclavicular ligament and this is called as the costal impression. So this is where the costoclavicular ligament is getting attached. So these are the basic external features. Along with that, on the lateral end or the acromial end, you can see on the anterior border there is a bony projection here, which is also known as the deltoid tubercle. So this point where you can see the slight projection that is called as the deltoid tubercle. So these are the major external features which are visible on the clavicle bone. Thank you.